Hello all. In this video, we will do the initial setup of the new Ari Stevipos and explain some of the functions. We start with the initialization process. In order to do this, we will press the reset button for more than two seconds. Now the initialization process has been completed. To go to the menu, we set the operating mode button on auto. By using the arrow buttons, we can go to settings, diagnosis or archive data. The reset button leads to the submenu. Pressing the reset button again leads us to the start menu. There are more buttons on the control panel to set the positioner. The operating mode can be set to manual or automatic. In manual mode, the actuator can be driven by using the arrow buttons. In automatic mode, the input signal is used. The second button is used to change the characteristic to inverse linear or to linear. The third button sets the tight closing point of the actuator. The dead band can be set to fixed or automatic, whereby the button on the right side next to it sets the fixed value. Further accessories are available, such as a manometer block and an analog output card. When the actuator is exhausted of air, we can install the manometer block. Therefore, we use the three supplied screws. After connecting the manometer block to the positioner, we also need to screw the air connections to the manometer block. Then the air supply can be reattached. In order to install the analog output card, the positioner must first of all be disconnected from the input signal. Then we dismantle the cap from the circuit board. The installation of the analog output card is done on the back of the circuit board. Three screws are used to fix the analog output card to the circuit board. When the screws have been tightened, we can mount the cap again and the power can be connected. Now the new Ari Stevipos is ready for your application. Thank you for watching.